Hi. Now, in this example, we've got to find the exact value of sine of 22.5 degrees plus cos of 22.5 degrees, all squared. And we've got to do this without using a calculator. And also, we must show each stage of our working. So, if you'd like to uh, have a go at this, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to uh, pause the video. Okay, so uh, let's see how you might do this one. So we start by putting an introduction down. Let's put our question. That is sine of 22.5 degrees plus the cosine, or cos for short, of 22.5 degrees. And all of this is squared. And if we square our bracket, it will be the first term squared, which will be sine squared of 22.5 degrees. Then we get plus twice the product of our term, so it's going to be plus 2 sine of 22.5 degrees, multiplied by the cosine of 22.5 degrees. And then we get the last term squared, so that's going to be plus cos squared of 22.5 degrees. Now, I can see that we've got sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle. And we should be familiar with that identity. Normally you'll see it in formula books or in textbooks as something like cos squared of an angle plus sine squared of an angle or sine squared plus cos squared of the same angle comes to 1. It's identical to 1. And I also notice this pattern here, 2 sine of an angle multiplied by the cosine of the same angle. You'll see that in formula books, usually written as 2 sine a cos a. And this identity is the same as the sine of 2a. So we can pick up on these two identities then. So sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of an angle comes to 1. So if we just put that this is equal to 1. And then for this part, this is going to be sine of twice our angle. So it's going to be the sine of two lots of 22.5 degrees, which is the sine of 45 degrees. Now, when it comes to the sine of 45 degrees, you should be familiar with the trig ratios for a right angle triangle that has 45 degrees in. If I just draw you a quick sketch, this triangle, if it has 45 degrees here and it's right angled, this angle will be 45 degrees, meaning that it's an isosceles triangle. These two sides will be exactly the same length. If we nominate them to be of one unit length, then this third side by Pythagoras' theorem will be the square root of 2, the root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, the root of 2. And so when it comes to the sine of 45 degrees, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2. If you were to work out the sine of 45 degrees on a calculator, though, you wouldn't see it as 1 over root 2. What they do is they rationalize this. They multiply top and bottom by root 2. So you end up with root 2 over 2. So there's another version that you can have, 1 plus root 2 over 2. Either way, there you go. That's what it is when you work it out to give the exact value. So, uh, yeah, just uh, make sure you're familiar with the trig ratios for the sine of 45 degrees. And you can see tutorials on this on my website, examsolutions.net. And also, take time out to learn your trigonometric identities. And here's a couple of them, which you'll find in your formula books as well.